what we're going to do is define radian measure as the length of the arc divided by the radius of a circle. If I take a terminal arm and I rotate it through some angle theta, I can define radian measure as the length of the arc over the radius. Now if I take one complete revolution around a circle, the arc length would be 2 pi r or the circumference of a circle. That would be the definition of one rotation around a circle. So I can say it's 2 pi r. I can think back to when you first learned about the circumference of a circle and you should see that that makes sense. The arc length would be 2 pi r. Now if I sub this in this arc length for a you'll see that these r's cancel out and my angle would be 2 pi and that makes sense if i start at this point i rotate my terminal arm all the way around the circle my radius cancels out and i get 2 pi now an interesting conclusion here is that we know the degree measure for a circle to be 360 degrees now i just showed you that i can also write that as 2 pi in terms of radians so we can conclude that if the angle measure in radians is 2 pi and the degree measure is 360 those must be the same thing so i can say 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. From there, I can develop the idea that 180 degrees is pi radians. And these are two very key concepts you'll use throughout our studies of trigonometry. Very important when you're writing angles in terms of pi, it's important to have your calculator in radian mode. Very quickly, there's a conversion factor you can use to convert between degrees and radians. To go from degrees to radians, you're multiplying by pi over 180. And to convert from radians to degrees, you're going to multiply by 180 over pi. If this video helped in any way, feel free to like and subscribe for more mathematical chaos. And as usual, thanks for watching.